Solid surface countertops, excellent storage, and a super slide, and possibly one of the most innovative bunk rooms in the industry. Folks, this is the 2023 Heartland Pioneer BH281, and I think you're gonna love these bunks. Now, we'll get to that bunk room in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at the kitchen because solid surface countertops in this price point, in my opinion, is pretty phenomenal. Uh, I really like the color. It's a little tough to see with the light coming in, but I personally really like the, uh, the color of the countertop here. I think they did an excellent job in uh, that color decision, especially because they do have a little bit darker wood still compared to what a lot of uh, RV manufacturers are doing in 2023. So I think this helps brighten things up. But because it is solid surface, it means you can undermount the double bowl stainless steel sink there, high rise faucet to accompany that as well to make sure washing and rinsing dishes is nice and easy. You also have good prep space. That's something that's always important to take a look at. So I do enjoy that. And Right over to the side is your recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover. It is Suburban brand, which I personally prefer over like a Greystone. Um, and then you will see underneath the oven in case you want to do a little bit of baking. You have three full extension ball bearing drawers. Pull those out. You can see they are nice and finished there. And one of my favorite things is underneath the sink, you have a ton of space for a trash can, which uh, again is big for me because I hate having my trash bags hang out, tie it to a pole. It's just not a good look. Right up top, you can see the uh, three cabinet doors there with the glass inserts, good storage, microwave and hood as well. And then our Dometic fridge freezer combo. This is a gas absorption refrigerator, which basically means it's your standard RV refrigerator uh, where it can run off both propane or electric, depending on what you want. Now, I won't make you wait too long. Let's take a quick look at this bunk room. Because and while at first glance it may not look like a whole lot, there's a lot going on here that I really love. So um, one of the things right away you will notice is right here in the back you have a door. Now it is a it is a very large door. Uh, a lot of times when we have storage doors like this, they're a little bit smaller. You can't fit a ton in there, but this one is nice and big, which I like. But the biggest thing about this is the bunk system. You have removable bunks. So you can see right here, this whole thing comes out. You have, I think it's three of them uh, per, might be four, three, three of them. You have three of them per bed base. And so you can, if you want to take a bunk out, you can. So let's say you want to put a bunch of stuff in here for storage. You just take these cushions, throw it up top, remove all three of these here. I'll, let's do this so you can actually see one. There you go. So you can kind of see all three of them right there. And then this whole thing just comes right out. The co other cool thing about that is you see in the back where you have uh, the rails on the sides, that's to make a desk. So you can take this bottom bunk, you can put those right in the back, and now you have a desk back here. Talk about flexibility and versatility. Not only can, like example, for the kids use that during the day to have something to you know, draw on or play cards on or uh, you know, just use for whatever, but also let's say you know, the kids end up growing up and moving out and you still have use out of the bunk room, right? You can sleep people back there. You have a desk. You can work back there. It's excellent storage. Uh, you have your uh, plugins like you'd expect. You have TV connection in here. You have a ladder to climb up to the top bunk. I mean, when it comes to bunk rooms, I love that bunk system. I think it is brilliant. I am shocked that more manufacturers haven't uh, copied that, but it's they're super lightweight, easy to maneuver. That right there, I think is you know definitely the icing on the cake. What sells this RV? And then you again, you have a lot of nice features like the super slide. We'll get to in a bit. Solid surface countertops, but take a look at this bathroom space too. Now I do have a, a good bunk room. But you have a big bathroom. I'll take a seat here. I have good leg room, you know, excellent shoulder space. It is a plastic bowl, but you know, you can change that out if you're so inclined. Um, you have your uh, vanity here, your, your tank monitoring panel is there, and then your mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. You also get a shower, or I'm sorry, you get a bath, which I personally prefer having a tub over a shower. The main reason, and in a bunk model, yes, it's nice. You can ki give the kids a, a bath. But the bigger one for me is the fact that the curtain is going to stay in that tub wall. It's not going to be flapping out like a lot of times will happen in a shower. You can also see that we have a little bit of uh, curvature here. So that way when you turn sideways, 
right? The curtain's going to be here, and hopefully my elbow and shoulder aren't rubbing up against it. Uh, I'm six foot tall to give you an idea of headroom. I got a little bit of space there. So, you know, if you're six one, you can probably stand in there. If you're six two, chances are you're going to have to duck down a little bit. But overall, really good bathroom space. I really like what they have going on. And then right outside the bathroom, take a look at this. This again is a versatile space, kind of like the bunks. These are all removable. So, you know, you can customize both sides to however you want, use them for whatever you want, whether it's going to be, you know, clothing, whether it's going to be, uh, you know, pantry, linen closet, whatever you need, you can fill that space with. Then you get into the super slide. You have your dinette that, of course, does drop down into a sleeping space if you need that additional sleeping space. You also see they removed the carpet, went with like a nylon uh, marine grade weave. And this is nice, too, because if the kids spill, it's super easy cleanup, which I know I'm sure uh, everyone watching appreciates. I know I certainly do. Big windows, too. That's something I, I like to point out. Um, you know, that helps bring in a lot of natural light. I, I personally would have liked to have seen a window here. That's, um, you know, kind of my only drawback. The reason being is I like to open the side windows on slide boxes for cross ventilation. Um, so that's something I would have liked to have seen. Not a deal breaker, but that just would have been a nice touch. Right down underneath is your jackknife sofa. Now, the big advantage of a jackknife is all the storage underneath. It doesn't make into a very large bed, but the sleeping space you gain, or sorry, the storage space you gain there is fantastic. And something I like about this specific uh, unit here this specific couch, I should say, is that right there. The center drops down. You have, uh, you know, some cup holders here. I don't know how well they would, you know, keep a, an open glass uh, from spilling, but as far as having an armrest, it makes this a lot more comfortable to sit in. So I do appreciate that. And of course, right across the way is your TV. So you can sit here, watch TV. Yeah, uh, have a pretty good angle, honestly. You have your multimedia center right down underneath. This does have an HDMI input, so if you have like a Blu-ray player or something you want to plug into, you can see that right there. It's just a direct feed. And then right underneath is uh, your fireplace. Now, the other thing I really like about this is right over here. So, you know, the mirror, cool. You can, you know, make sure you're looking good before you head out or whatever. But I love having a coat rack and then underneath, especially, shoe storage. Folks, you'd be shocked how many RVs... Uh, I walk into and I'm like, man, where, where am I going to put my shoes, right? It's If you've been RVing, you know it's a problem. They clutter up the entryway. Having a spot for them is huge. As we step into the bedroom, I think they did a good job here as well. Now, you know, I, I have a pretty large butt, so it is a little tight for me to sneak around here. But uh, th I love that they did a full-size 60 by 80 queen size mattress. This is a residential size mattress. And I will, you know, I will take the drawbacks of having to, uh, you know, kind of sneak my butt through here to get a full residential mattress in here. Um, it, 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 it's, you know, it's pretty comfortable as far as being an RV mattress, to be perfectly honest. But if it is something you want to swap out, you can because, again, you already know that, uh, you know, it's not going to overhang or anything like that. Also, right in here, this is for anyone that has like a CPAP machine or if you just want to store your phone in there, you have electrical outlets. Turn the light on so you can see. You have an electrical outlet right there. And so this just lets you, again, put your CPAP or your phone in there. Uh, both of these are wardrobe and you have the shelf up top. But what, again, kind of sets the bedroom apart is right here. On the back side of where we had our coat closet, look at that. You have more storage. Again, removable shelves plus more shelves right down below. So if you know you have, if you're staying in this for an extended period of time, you have more shoes. You have a spot for them. And if you want to watch TV, you can see you have a backer in the wall for that too. All right, let's take a look at some outside features on the Heartland Pioneer BH281. Starting off up front, this one does have the power tongue jack. It actually has what they call the full power package, which is a power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, and a power awning. Right behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover rails there for your battery. Then you have the hybrid aluminum front, which yeah, looks nicer and it's a little bit easier to clean, a little bit less weight, so definitely a win overall. Coming around to the side, you have what they have deemed King Kong size storage. Uh, but honestly, it is 
really big pass-through storage, especially for a travel trailer. I mean, it kind of utilizes a little bit of the, uh, the front end there as well. Uh, a couple things in here I do want to point out. One of them is the fact you do have a solar charge controller there for solar prep. And on the other side, you also have tire pressure monitoring system or TPMS prep. So that if you want to be able to monitor your tires, you know, make sure you can uh, prevent blowouts. That is a great system to have. As I mentioned, power stabilizer jacks. You have one control right up here for the front two, another one in the back for the rear two. Power awning with LED light, which uh, covers your door as you would want it to, as well as the outside kitchen. We'll see in just a second here. That has an LED light strip on it as well. A couple outside speakers right underneath that, and those are controlled by the multimedia center inside. This one does have the More Ride Step Above Step system. I personally like More Ride a little bit better than the uh, the Lippert Solid Step. It just it's easier to adjust the feet. There's uh, rather than having to pull pins, it's just a nice little. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a little tab basically you push in, makes it a lot easier to slide in and out. These have aluminum treads, so they're not going to rust, grip tape on there, and this just folds up into the door when you're done nice and easy. Plus you have the foldable grab handle here for some added control when entering or exiting the RV. Uh, I talked about an outside kitchen, and that is what you get right here. So you have your refrigerator, <clears throat> excuse me, then right underneath is a griddle, and I personally Definitely prefer a griddle over a, um, over a two burner cooktop. I'm just gonna use a griddle a whole heck of a lot more. So I definitely like that more manufacturers are having that installed. You will also see some connections right out here. So you have your uh, fresh water inlet as well as a black tank flush right underneath. Don't get those confused there. Um, you can also see an electric outlet plus you have your uh, cable outlet, so that way if you want to hook up a TV out here, that is where you would hook it up at. Let's come around to the back side. I want to show you the door back here. As I said, it is a really large door. I mean, you can fit, you know, bikes in there, all sorts of stuff. I love how wide it is. And as I mentioned, these just come right up and out. They, they are built to store on the sides. That's why you have these here, so you can store them on both sides. But if you want, you know, if you want to keep the top one up there, you could throw them up top too and have that space open, just whatever is easier for you. Right down underneath, you'll see this one does have a bumper, which is more and more rare on travel trailers these, these days. I personally appreciate it. <clears throat> you have the end caps there as well, so it is a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. And you will see they also have mounted the spare tire to it. You will also notice underneath this one does have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly to uh, help kind of protect it from some of the elements. Not that it's going to be rated for, you know, uh, freezing temperatures, but it will help kind of extend that camping season. City water inlet will be located right over here above your outside shower that has both hot and cold water access. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right in there. Then you will have your terminations a little bit below that. Again, folks, this is an awesome travel trailer. If you're looking for something for the family, something that is extremely versatile, the BH281 should definitely be on the short list. So stop on in, check it out, or if you're interested in price and availability, you can always check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you.